Right then guys, hello everyone and welcome back to episode 58, Survival Challenge. I've been hearing a lot of noise going on outside. Sounds like it came for chainsaw last night. Oh, Virtual George has now got himself his own firewood business. How good of him. Well he knows where his money's coming from now. Right then guys, so uh, welcome back to episode 58, Survival Challenge. So, off camera I've been doing a bit of work. Keeping things, well, majority topped up. I planted canola into this backfield. And, fer well, drilled it with fertilizer. I cut a another cut off the grass got some more hay off it to pl put it into here kept the sheep on top off put the honey away which has got another pallet there canola in there I'm thinking of just drilling this with normal seed reason is because at this stage we can't afford a potato planter now we might be able to in the future well, hopefully we will be able to, but at this stage I'm going to avoid the potatoes and put in a seeded crop. We have also got a silo for the farm and a re landscape this area. So I'll put in the Storinator mod, Storinator silo. And we made this area now like our yard. So what I am going to do is I'm going to remove the dreaded old silo that we first start off with. For no pound, 63 months, that's how long this series has been going for. Look at that. Don't look, that look different. And it changed. Just gonna make it a little bit neater there. But no. So I am going to get the class started up. It's going to just drill in a normal crop. Probably the cast crop, canola. I am trying to do a lot of fields with canola because it's a cast crop. But then again, we do need chicken food. The orchard, we have got loads of hay to feed to the horses. So I am just trying to think, how do I want to play this? Obviously not grass. I might put... I might put barley in. I can get straw off it as well. Because we do need to think about the pigs. Yeah, I'm going with barley. So I will get a headland off the field done. But yes, I am still planning on doing potatoes. And we have got the premium DLC stuff now as well, so I can actually put in parsnips, carrots as well. But I think that's only going to be for when we actually start expanding the uh, land out. So, I will get a headland done, I will put this onto virtual jars. I'm trying to record. And 
and I'm trying to recover. Sorry about that, guys. So, I'll get this put onto virtual charge. Just so that it doesn't get confused, I am going to do this headland because knowing virtual charge, he'll probably. Well, I don't know. I dread to think what he'll do. He'll drive up a building if he could. Virtual yards could he'd be driving up buildings. It's like he did with the half a star. So I'll get this put onto him, he can deal with the field. And then I will sell those platinum pallets, we did miss them by a month. We should have sold them last month, but officer we didn't have this many. So I'm going to sell these. I'm going to get the furniture loaded up for next month. Probably next sell point. How much will we make? I say about 20,000. Oh my god, 33,545 plus the 1,329 environmental score, leaving us with 63,000 pounds. Actually, I'm going to grab the rest of them pallets. I actually want to go that side, but I'm now thinking go this side. We've got a view of his own farm. That way we've got a view of the, t the town. I'd rather have a view of the farm. And beyond. So I think if anything, if we want to cut down any more trees, we can cut down those ones there. Plus expand the field upwards. So, officer, the worker decided that he'll park the trailer off there. We actually need to do some attempted levelling of this patch of grass. And the fact that the workers actually just dumped the trailer down here, it doesn't actual help. 
the fact of my loading skills. If you go back in the video, please, and just tell me where I left the worker to load off. It wasn't here, I don't think. I don't know, I could be wrong. In fact, we asking the worker to stop there. If it Virtual charge is yet again just sitting there wasting my money. Yes. I hope you are enjoying this series guys as much as I am enjoying to make it. I hope you are enjoying the series. And it's actually quite catching up to where I hoped it to be. Now, the series teething about with it and sorting the map out after issues, there's possibly going to be another episode of Survival Roleplay coming back to the channel this week now I'm hoping that we're going to have it back on Saturday but as always I can't promise anything and I'm hoping that it will continue for every Saturday as follows I have just got worker charge, virtual charge, did I say, to take the tractor back. Now it's time to resell all these products again. I'm going to say if I made 20,000 last time, I'm going to say we make a Approximately I thought I saw something there no. I'm gonna say about twenty thousand for a game, but we ain't got as much things. Yeah I'm gonna go twenty thousand. Twenty three thousand pounds plus the £949 environmental income. So, 87000 we are on. Now we can just about afford the new plot of land. 
but I don't want to leave it really tight depending. So, I am going to get this sold. I'm going to get this loaded up. I will see I'll see you as soon as it's all loaded on. See you in a minute, guys. So, I now need to know where I'm selling this to. And I think it's this month. <coughs> July is the best time, but two one six one two 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 one not that's will make most of that. Sell it to the farm shop today since the price is more than what it currently can be. Nine thousand litres altogether. I know it's going there, but while I'm at it, I might as well also get some fuel. Turn up the engine. So, sorry about that guys, but we are now selling this furniture and I wonder how much we shall get. Can we make a hundred thousand? Oh my god, twenty thousand and nineteen pounds. Plus the 822 environmental score, leaving us with 107,653. Well over 100,000 pounds again. So, that leaves me with two options. Both of them are good sources because I can A, buy the new plot of land, and B, I can build these two productions. And so, oh, plus we do need to buy a new sprayer for the canola field. So, is there anything good in the sales? Nothing significantly good. We do need to take this over here for the gold production. Which requires another top up of water.
so I do need to get this field seed finished seeding. Finished fertilizing and seed it and rolling. Just if I go forward a little bit more and refill it, I will then get into this tractor and finish the seeding making sure every bit of this field is complete to kind of use but apart from them being small it's just a bit difficult to work around now this nitrogen saying it's okay it's good it's but it's not coming up as perfect because there's also a bit up here where it will say OK it's 160 to 120 does precision farming need an update or is it just me? because that would you'd think that's say perfect hmm So what I am going to do, as I know that is full, I know it's not fully full and you're going, I'm going to have somebody saying in the comments, the tank is not full, I know it's not because last time I filled it up to the top, I had the issue saying that, about the capacity. So that's right, I'm not filling it, filling it. So I put 51% in, at least then I know how much it can really take. Now I don't think I can sell the methane. all finished the worker is making it as I can see trouble is how is he parked oh it's actually parked well away from any of the tractors so we're actually on £104,000, strangely enough. I've 
no idea why. So, the next thing that I shall do is I will sound like a bit like someone else there. Is I will move the lorry back around. Probably just to there. I will move the trap around. And I will get the gold loaded up. See you in a minute, guys. So, rest. Because I don't think we can spawn any more litres of gold. No, there's no stones in there, so it won't actually spawn out. Before I do rest, I think I might place down one of the productions. Do I want to put, get a new piece of land first? I don't know. There's the two productions I want. It's the spinnery and the dairy. Now the dairy will be the ideal production I'd go for the first because I've just sold a load of wool. And there's nothing to actually go inside the spinnery. That's all for yet. So the dairy would be the first production to get. I think there's only one place where we can sell gold. Gold! Oh no, it isn't actually. It's a selling point as well. So I might as well just leave it here. Because right now, the best price for gold is 9492. And we can get higher. Much higher. So I'm just going to leave it right here. I'm going to head back to our farm and I'm going to go into flight mode, productions. I'm going to look for the dairy because that's the beneficial one that I want to get today. Even though it costs just more. Now it's quite big. We can only place productions that we own on our land. Selling points etc can go in the town. Now the only place where I'm thinking it would have to go is here or quite possible it could go on here. Hmm. It could do, couldn't it? Set it back a bit. Because see yeah, the house is going to go on that side. It's got a nice cafe area as well. Or at least I think it is. Hmm. Milk and sugar in. I'm going to do it. Right, so. Now I know how much we're left with. 29,000. I want to turn on interactive zone markers because I've turned them off reasons for it's this series just to see where things need to go in now we need to put stuff in that side the forklift needs to be able to get on so what I am going to do is I'm going to put on the slope tool I'm going to set the slope up here. I'm going to start it here.
and then could come down here like so so I set the point set the point and then it's going to cut into the crop a bit but that's not to worry about as long as they still spawn it should look okay now I want the grapple tool I think it's that one it's giving us it is ass. No, it's actually placed down absolute. So it's actually cutting away at our money pretty quickly but there's not a lot I could actually do there trying to make it look a little bit neater to what it was and nicer as well Boom. So we've actually got the dairy put it in. Which is a great improvement to what it was. I will have to get the sugar back up in a minute but I can at least start producing butter and cheese now and I've just got, made a mistake I've gone over the crop this is another benefit of getting a PC because I can hit mods up to make the series more challenging like drive over crops yes this area is not going to be grass soon it's going to be filled up with animals productions and whatnot I'm tempted to put down another two more greenhouses but we're gonna make thousands with this gold and if I just put the price of gold on so the best price is 9492 which is 9492 what have we got them up we've got few good prices. Nine four nine two. If I go back now five thousand litres times five thousand 
liters. We're gonna make 45, 47,000 pounds. That's at that standard price. Now there's potential where we could still make that, which also leaves the question to stand: the protect. What happens if we don't make that price? But no, it, oh god, it's a push to get up the hill. But can we do it? Stay up there. That can go in now. So, let's just see how much we've actually got in. So, 5,000 litres, what can we make? We can make butter and cheese. Oh, can we make chocolate? No, butter and cheese. We can't make chocolate. We do need the sugar. So, I will get the production started on the butter and the cheese. When we do have some more milk, which will be likely tomorrow, I will get it started on the next bit of work. So I will find the pickup. I'm hoping that we do make some good money out of this. Let me sleep until about 6 a.m. I'm ho I am hoping that we do. So we are actually on 19,000 after property make turns. It is six mi two minutes past six. And we have actually got a crop that's not working. So it can go off. Any more productions that can go off, that's empty, that can go off. They can go off because they're not doing any work. Gold is actually quite high this month, but I am forever knowing why these fields are not actually now growing, unless the map's upgrade updating. Which it looks like it's done its good deed of the day. So I will have a look up here, see what's happened. Nothing much. Then I will go across to here and see what's happening. That's growing nicely. That field is also growing. So I do need to get on and sell this gold. of butter they can be sold when the price is right another field with fully grown weeds which need herbicide on them and a field of sugar beet which is well doing better than what I wanted so this gold where's the best price to sell to so 9792 
two is the best price at this time of year. So I think I just did that. I can't remember. So nine, seven, five, two. So it's, yeah, so we should make, but it's actually nine, seven, five, two. Seven nine two. Oh, we could. Have, we might be better going straight to the selling production point because the prices are going down as we speak. Nine thousand eight three four is the best price by the look of sort of things. Yeah, we better take it there. So, the selling point production point, which is where it's going, is right round this corner. For the profit that we're going to get, I'm going to say, not because I've not done this before, I'm going to say we get, and I know it makes good money, hundred thousand pounds that's probably too realistic I'm gonna say we get over a hundred forty nine thousand one hundred and seventy plus the one nearly two thousand pounds environmental score reward makes it seventy one thousand pounds now that is one benefit of this production, you get loads out of it. I am going to pull in here for the furniture. If there is any. It's two, two pallets of furniture, which is of said value. Furniture can go to two one nine two 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 three two. Butter, I think that's September, and so is cheese. Can we make? Well over eighty-five thousand. I'm hoping we can. Four thousand pounds, nearly five thousand, seventy-five thousand pounds for one. Not enough to buy the new plot of land. Like I say, we may have something else to sell that we don't even use anymore, but that's not likely. But we do need to buy a herbicide sprayer. And this is actually leading us down into the right street or right path. This episode's been a right productive episode. Like the second to last episode, it was kind of productive. Last episode, episode 57, no 58. What are we on now? 50. Yeah, that's what's been productive, but not as productive as this episode. Not, not for a chance it is.
But no, this is coming on nicely. Now for flowers and mushrooms, I don't think they can be sold yet. Hmm. May. Oh, May, they could have been sold in May. Ouch. In October. Yes, cracking bonuses there have been made. Absolutely cracking it's been this episode. We've actually got a new production. Despite faffing about putting the milk in, we've actually got a new production made. This map is expanding. But I am going to leave it on a bit of a plot ending. After rectifying. this I'll probably do it off camera this rectiface rectivation so I'm thinking about buying another plot out of your opinion what should we go for so this is plot 25 here which is fairly spacious and it's open I know there's a few trees but we'll be cutting the trees down well, the least, the ones on the run. Oh, shudder! And this is a big shudder. Well, it's it's too proportionate, really. They're both the same reasoning. Should I go for plot twenty-seven? Now we are going to have to tackle those trees. Be aware of. We are going to have to cut probably a handful of them down in order to what to what I want to do on this map which is cotton, sugarcane and potentially the new crops before we do finish this let's play but no I'm either going to go with 27 or 25 out of all possibilities I am thinking of going 25 Or, even better still, Plot 33. And actually experience grapes again. Because I've not actually touched on grapes. For ages. And I mean ages. I mean since when the game first came out. So I'm thinking, do I go Plot 33? It is going to mean, however, travelling to and from the plot. But, creating out on this track... Yeah, it's, can, it's doable. Yeah, I'm thinking, we do it. We go for it. We go for this plot. The grape stuff is fairly cheap. With mods installed. Yeah, it's fairly cheap. I'm thinking we go for the go for the plot. And it's only this bottom corner and the rest of the map up here. We could do something else on it. Plant it all up, do it all as cotton. Do down here, on the other hand, as an area for grapes. I don't know. I'm just thinking at this moment. I will just go and see how the pigs are doing before I end the episode. So yeah, I will need to scoop this manure up slowly. We do need to get it shifted. Which brings me on to my next conclusion of slow weight spreaders. Because I will get one in the next off camera and start putting some slowly down. 
I'm thinking go for the cheapest one to start off with. Build up. For those of you who know my series very well, I'd either go for the Marcel or one of these by our fabulous friend for demodding. Or should I say, I say a agri modding. Hmm. Yes. That's one thing that I can be thinking about. But no, if you've enjoyed this episode, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will see you all again in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.